Hello and welcome to Spareka. So today I'm going to explain how to test a power outlet. So the first thing to do is to set your multimeter. So we are looking for an alternating current value. So we need to set it to AC. So we will turn the switch and set it to a voltage higher than 240 volts. Since we are looking for a voltage between 220 and 240 volts then once we have set it to the desired voltage. So we are on V with the little wave, which means we are on alternating current. We will need to connect the cables. You generally have multiple inputs. In this case, we have a total of four wires. We will make use of the COM function, which is always associated with the black wire. It is important to place the COM wire on top when looking for a voltage. Moreover, in most tests like this, we will place the red wire here. Our goal is to measure volts. Hence, you have appropriately marked it here, indicating the presence of voltage. Ometer, hertz, etc. So we will focus on this side. The other side is for testing current, so we won't use it to test a power outlet because we are looking for a voltage. So we are using a fairly advanced multimeter with many functions, such as a capacitance meter, etc. You have many things on it, and then you have simpler multimeters that you can find on our website, which have an automatic function, meaning that you select the alternating voltage function, connect it to measure your voltage, and there is no need for further adjustments. Now I will show you on a much simpler multimeter. Connect black cable to COM function common. Place in middle like this, searching for voltage, as I need accurate measurement for my experiment. I am searching for volts. I am going to place on V here. Then I am going to obtain alternating current. So same, we are searching for the V with the little wave next to it. We are going to take a higher range than the 240 voltage. So on this multimeter, it is 300. I am now able to test my power outlet and ensure its functionality. We are on our power outlet. You have three things. You have the land here, which can be touched. There is no risk the phase and the neutral. In order to test the socket, you must of course select the appropriate voltage and current rating as we have just seen in the previous section. I must put both touch points at the same time in each hole. Why? If I only put one tip, starting with a tip like this, I'll never be able to insert it due to the security measures in place. Both must be pressed at the same time to unlock the safety mechanism. So I'm going to put my test probes and I'm going to push like this at the same time to get my voltage, so I have 238 volts. So which indicates that my socket is working correctly. So now we are going to test if the socket has a good ground. So this value there, we must find it between phase and ground. So I'm going to remove one test probe and I'm going to put it on the ground like this in contact. So I find my good voltage. However, the other cable, the other test probe, I must find 0V. 0V between neutral and ground. So here I have 0, which means that my land is good. If I had had a voltage, if I had had, for example, 100 volts or something else, that means that my ground is defective. At that moment, and often in many cases when it's like that, you get a shock when you touch your device. So the principle will be the same for testing an extension cord or a power strip. So simply place the touch points in the neutral phase, like this. So here we have 238 volts, it's the same as the power outlet. And I can also put them in my extension cord like this. And so there, for the record, you see we don't have the right voltage. At 87 volts, which indicates that the extension cord has a problem, the power outlet is the first thing you will need to test when you have a malfunction on your household or electrical appliance. It should be known that a domestic electrical appliance has an operating range between 220 and 240 volts. If you have a value, 220V, it's likely it won't turn on as the electronic card won't tolerate lower voltage. Here, this video is ending. If you don't have a multimeter and you want to get one, we sell them on our website, Sparika, of course. If you liked the video, give it a blue thumb. For questions or comments, use the comments section below. Subscribe, see you soon on Sparika.